so students in this video you will learn about how we can create the local structure as well as global structure so as i have already told you in the local structure if you want to create we need sap abap editor so we can open this abap editor using the transaction code which is sc38 and uh, with the help of the types and begin of and end of this syntax we can use for creating the local structures and for creating the global structure we use sc11 which is a bap dictionary so by this a bap dictionary you can create the global structure so let us we start with the practical program of uh, creating this local as well as global structure so first of all we need to create the global structure and how we can create the global structure with the help of sc11 so step number 1 go to sc11 which will open the a bap dictionary to create the global table structure type in the number the step number 2 select the data type and choose to create the new structure in the dictionary so we need to select here the data type so i am writing here z example 1 now click on the create button it will ask the three types that is your data element structure and table type so we are going to create the structure so select the structure here and then click on the continue button so the structure name that we have given that example 1 so the structure name is this one now we need to give the short description so this is our new structure so new structure then we need to assign the component so first component i am just to going to give here the name and then typing method i need to select so types i am selecting here the component type either you can select the component or either you can use the predefined type so click on this predefined type tab button it will enable this data type where you can give the data type so we have generally uh, two data types complete or incomplete so either you can give complete or incomplete so i am giving here the incomplete type character we need to specify the length so i am giving the length is 15 either you can give the short description here now select the another component which is our roll and roll number so roll underscore number then we can give the type here so this is again the typing method is your types and then we need to select the type so i can select here from the input help so this is called input help just press on it it will a pop up a window by which you can select the particular data type so we have number of data types specified in this input help either we can also write the data type here int int and then one so int 1 int 2 int 3 these are the data types of the integers so these are the sub data types of the integer so you can see that this is an integer 1 1 byte integer integer number less than equal to 254 so i'm going to select this data type select it and you can also give the length here so i'm giving the length is 3 now the next component i'm going to select it this is your branch so this is branch now we need to select the type so this is our type again we are going to take it as a character type so this is character and this is our length is 10 so once we have created this structure with the components three component their name roll number and branch click on the save button after saving this content uh, it is asking for the package so i am making it as a local object click on this local object as i already told you this structure have mainly three types flat structure deep structure and nested structure the flat structure means that means if any one of the component of the structure is of type normal types normal type means it may be either complete type or incomplete type so that is called flat structure or you can also say that if uh, components of a structure is of type of standard type so standard type i like character integer character float decimal float and so on so that type of structure is called flat structure second type of structure if any one of the component of the structure is of type structure itself so structure within structure is called nested structure third one type is deep structure if any one of the component of the structure is of type table internal table then that is called deep structure so before uh, activating this particular structure we need to specify the category so how we can specify the category that means this this structure uh, 
belong to which type of category either flat either nested or deep so for that we need to select the category so how we can select the category just click on to the extras button it will show you populate enhancement category just click on it in the enhancement category click continue it will show you the three types mainly can be enhanced deep deep means if any one of the component is of internet table so it is not any one component is here is the internet table we cannot select it so can be enhanced character type of numeric we have selected this one type so can be enhanced as a character type or numeric so click on the copy button now check for the syntax click on the save button and check for the syntax then activate it so now our structure has been created with the name Z example one which have the three components name roll number and branch so this is the type of global structure how we can create with the help of ABAP dictionary now if you want to create your local structure then we need SAP ABAP editor so in that program we will discuss how we can access this component directly uh, into our main program because it is a global structure so the global structure component we can access directly so let us restart and go to SC38 for opening of the ABAP editor use slash n sc38 and press enter it will open the ABAP editor and there we are going to create the program z example or z sample one click on the create button so in this program i am going to give here the uh, local structure then type is our executable program and then select here and click on the save button here we are going to create the structure and access the structure element using the structure variable or object now click on the save button so now we need to create here the structure so first of all i am going to take the parameters parameter statements and then use colon for the change statement so first data object i am going to take is name and then type and then z sample one and then i am going to select here name so you can see that what we are doing here we are declaring a parameter name with the type z sample one hyphen name so what we are doing here this is z sample one is our structure name global structure name and this is your name of the component when you will double click on it it will jump to you directly to the that particular structure global structure similarly we can also create another component another parameter we can take so this is our roll number and then roll underscore number and then type and then z sample one then roll number roll underscore number another parameter we are going to take is that is your branch so we are taking here branch and then type same z sample one then branch So we have declared three parameters now we are going to define another component which is of data object that is your directly address and then type we are going to select so this is your type and the type is string similarly we can take another is that is your father name so i am taking here the father underscore name and the type is again of string type now we are going to declare the local structure so how we can declare with the help of types and then begin off then we can give the structure name so I am giving here the structure name is student then I am going to take the component local structure component so this is our name one name one and then I can define the type so the type is I am taking z sample one and this is your type 
of the component of the stu global structure. Similarly, I am taking here the name and then roll number. So this is roll number one, and then I am taking the type Z sample one, then roll underscore number. Then we are going to take branch. This is branch one, and then type and then Z sample one this will be your branch so what we are doing here we have created the local structure with the help of begin of and then we have taken begin of with the st structure name student and we have defined three component name one doll number one branch one another component we can define like type id and this type we are taking of type integer which is standard type now we need to end of this structure so how we can end with the help of end of structure name so structure name is student so we have declared here the local structure now we are going to use these structures so first of all we are taking the data statement so this is data i'm going to create your uh, structure variable and how we can create with the help of data then s1 we can take and then specify the type and then we can use the structure name the structure name is student now we are going to access this one so how we can access with the help of this structure variable name so this is s1 then hyphen this is your name one so we are going to access this component name one with the help of the structure variable the structure variable is s1 so s1 hyphen name one equal to name so what we are doing here we are taking we are storing the name we have taken from the user and storing it to the component of the structure local structure s1 name similarly you can also take another one s1 hyphen then role number one equal to role underscore number similarly we can take another one s1 hyphen then we are taking here the branch one we are storing it and we are taking this variable from the user so this will this is your branch so by this way we are storing the value of user into the structure component local structure components and we can also assign the value here directly of for this id id equal to we have assigned 20 value because we have not taken this id value from the user we have taken three value name roll number and branch now click on the save button check for the syntax so we have taken here the wrong thing this is a z sample one sample one we have not created so we need to check here the which uh, type of structure we have created global structure so we need to go here just use slash o then sc11 so it will open a parallel session with the ABAP dictionary and we have taken here the Z example one. So we need to go back. So this is your Z example one. So we need to take here Z example one. Similarly, we need to take here Z example one. Z example one. Similarly, take here Z example one similarly we can take the type here z example one z example one z example one now click on the save button now check for the errors now the syntactically correct then activate and we have not write uh, given the right statement so we can print all of these structured component with the help of write statement how we can do that with the help of write then i'm going to print here the student name so this is our students student name then comma and uh, this is our student name with the help of s1 and then name one similarly we can also print here the student roll number 
and how we can do that student roll number comma s1 then roll number one similarly we can take here the student branch so this is student branch comma s1 then we can take here branch one similarly we can also print student id student id comma s1 and then id so uh, we have printed the component of a local structure then click on the save button then check for the syntax error then activate it then execute it give the name here suppose I am giving here the name Ajay Dureja roll number I am giving 07 then branch I am giving CSC and then execute it so it will show you the results so this is our local structure the student name we have taken Ajay Dureja student roll number is 7 student branch is CSC and student ID is 20 so this was an example of this local structure as well as using the component data type of the global structure so first of all what we have done we have created the global structure here and then components in this component data type we have used in this program component data types and we have created here the local structure with the help of begin of and then end of and then with the help of this structure variable we have created this is s1 then type and then structure name and then with the help of uh, getting some parameter value from the user and storing into the local structure component and printing these all the components of the structure so this was an example of the local structure as well as global structures so thank you so much for watching my videos